Kill Savage. How many of you use your Facebook today? Now, how many of you clicked on the ad today? <laughs> this week? Ever? This is the par Facebook paradox. People, marketers especially, love Facebook for engagement because one out of every six person on this planet uses Facebook. And it has a near zero cost to engage them. But, marketer hates Facebook app because it has a near zero return on investment. How near zero is this return? If I pay good money to show ads to 800 people here, two of you will click on it. No, four. Four of you will click on it. So I'm going to double that for Facebook. This is the problem. We want to use Facebook for marketing, but we can't. We are QSearch, big data analytic for Facebook. We want to make social media useful. Our product is powerless. Google AdWord for Facebook. This allows us to do something really, really quick. Precision targeting of message. This is the Google's click-through rate for the world, 0.5%. We are that thin blue line all the way across, 7.32. That's us. We can do this because of our big data analytic power. And here's the funny part. We actually use the Facebook's ad manager platform to place our ad. It's, we work completely through and with the Facebook system. This is how we do it. Facebook targeted you for an ad based on your demographic, what your friends like, we don't do any of that. We look at actual behavior, what you really want to be engaged in. If you click on, you consistently comment on an ad about beer, share a beer ad, beer comment, beer brewing recipe, uh, we're going to show you a picture of it. We're going to show you an ad of a beer. Because you have identified to us, through your action, you like beer. This doesn't work for cute cat pictures. That's why we don't take any advertisement from cute cat picture advertisers. If you look at this picture, this is tell a very interesting lesson. These are three business cases we did for our client. The left pink column are the client's original ad performance. The one in the middle, the green one, is the Facebook benchmark click-through rate for that particular industry. The blue one on the right, that's what we did when we took the same ad, spent the same amount of money, and got a very different result. QSearch helped your message find your audience. And for the marketer in your crowd, please don't spend time fixing the last propositional phrase on your ad pitch. Just use QSearch. We can help you reach more audience. Because if you look at the last the very last business case, this customer already had twice more effective ads than Facebook, and we increased by 10%. If content is king, QSearch is King Kong. <laughs> Some of our clients, we work with clients, we have two models. First one, we work with clients who really want to get their message right out. Small business, startup, two startups here actually use our services. We also work with large enterprise who have a lot of money. We work with the premium HR portal in Taiwan, the quadruple one. And we also work with PyCon and Rubicon, two of the well-known tech conferences. This year for PyCon, we sold an, an extra 262 ticket. We increased their ticket sale by 165%. For Rubicon this year, we tripled their attendance. When you find the right audience, you don't have to have the perfect message. We are a fairly young company. We are five months old, and we are doing pretty well. The first three months, we use our technology and our service to sell to small enterprises to get experience to understand the market. Month four, we started with enterprise sales, and as you can see, enterprise sales bring in a lot of money. We're starting to see some of the money this month. The problem is to pay forever. We have two models. 
B2B. We place the campaigns for clients directly on Facebook for them. So we do the audience profiling and we take the risk of the bidding. Or we do B2B2B to B2B where we sell through a media agency that they sell their client to us. Our team is centered around Elliot. He is a, hack a Facebook hackathon winner in Taiwan. When he's not busy, he searches for submarine through oceanic data. Uh, the rest of the team just spills around him. We're targeting <laughs> Southeast Asia because we have a huge Facebook engagement, but very small ask me. Asia will be the fastest growing ad market for Facebook, and followed by South America. It will grow to 11 billion in five years. We want to be there to catch some of that growth. We are QSearch. We want to make social media useful. If you drop by our booth at S6, we have a free personal search engine for you so you can search your own post on Facebook. We are looking for media agency to work with us to dominate the world. Thank you. We're QSearch. Thank you, Roger. That is you. Can you differentiate between ad profiling based on the Facebook profile and then your intent? The beer example. So what could I get through QSearch? Uh, the, that's a, thank you for the setup. That's a great softball question. Facebook target user through primarily demographics. You're 35 years old. You follow sports team. You must like beer. Because most 35-year-old male who follows the sports team like beer. Generalization, not very accurate, very useful back in the old broadcasting age. They have many natural leadership. Second one, your social group, all your friends drink beer. You probably like beer too. Another generalization, more accurate because you can check. Cross -check. The Facebook part's clear. Yeah. yeah. What's, where does QSearch come in? We look at the actual content on Facebook. We look at this guy, you have been uh, sharing, discussing, and reposting content about beer consistently for a while. You probably like beer. That's uh, that's a guess backed up by behavioral pattern throughout time. That's what we do. We look at the behavioral pattern. So we don't have a profile for a given user. Once we get a message, we start looking for the behavior. You mentioned that uh, it doesn't. <coughs> your technology doesn't really work for cat videos. So I'm curious as to what product or service categories work the best for your technology. And what's the gap between you know, effective and not so effective? Sure. Uh, we have we have had click through rate around forty percent. That's in extreme cases. That's a very focused technology conference where we actually know very well the behavior, the content interaction, even the kind of question people ask. Very specific. So the more a brand manager or a marketer know about their audience, we can amplify that. The less they know, we can't. We have. We have one very poor experience when the customer didn't have a clear business objective. We could not get a, even through the re we could only get 2 to 3% CPR rate. That for us, even at six times better than Facebook, that's a really bad stat for us. Because we're used to how much higher. Good questions. Uh, which type of advertiser do you achieve for your sales? Mm -hmm. uh, two questions. Uh, uh, do you want to go global? Uh, yes, so. Uh, which market do you want to penetrate and also uh, uh, all the, all the priority? Yes. Uh, the market, Southeast Asia is our first priority. Uh, South a Asia is our first priority because of the huge engagement. We are crazy about Facebook in Asia, but the ad spending is so low. That's the greatest growth we hit, Jones. When China opens up, that's another one, um, depending on how you feel about politics. But China has 95 million views already. With, even though it's only legal to 25 miles around China. So that's a trip, and we see that as a growth. Second one, South America. They have the same behavior, huge user base, huge user engagement, very little spending. Ultimately, we want to go to America later, but it's a very crowded market, and we are not confident at this point we can tackle America. Asia, yes. South America, Mojapos. Okay? Thank you, Roger. And thank you, judges.